O Muses, what is the story of the rage of Achilles and the feud of him and Agamemnon? What caused so many souls to fall to Hades? Will you help tell the story of the rage and wrath of the mighty Achilles? Begin, Muse, when the two first broke and clashed, Agamemnon, lord of men, and brilliant Achilles. This begins when the two first broke and clashed, Agamemnon, lord of men, and brilliant Achilles. Agamemnon, lord of men, please return my daughter. If you comply, I will reward you with a mighty sum. Priest of Apollo, I'm afraid I cannot return your daughter, as she is currently my prize. Do not tempt my wrath that you may depart alive. You will regret this harsh treatment, Agamemnon, you fiend! Oh, God of poetry, archery, and the sun, please aid me in the Achaean's demise for the theft of my beloved daughter. Arrows of plague fire down on the Achaeans from mighty Apollo, killing masses of Greek soldiers. They start coughing and dying. The plague lasted for nine days. This plague, it is a great impediment. My people are dying. I must seek the wisdom of Calchas. Great soothsayer Calchas, why has this illness fallen upon our people? I tell you with all, but strike a pact with me, and swear you'll defend me with all your heart, with words and strength. If Apollo has asked his beloved god to shower us with a plague, and shall only cease if his daughter Chryses is returned. Calchas, what is this foul language you speak? How can you expect me to give up my prize? All you tell is miserable, and not a word of yours is in favor of mine. My own wife is not even comparable to Chryses. I refuse to return her. Agamemnon, my friend, please do not fight for something so petty. Think of your people. Oh, you will not trick me, Achilles. Why must I return my prize when you have the converts of your own? No, I will return Chryses only if you give me Chryses. Yes, we'll have the ship ready for the two women soon. Agamemnon, you shameless, greedy dog. We have all embarked on this tiring and violent journey to aid you. It was not me who, who Helen was stolen from. My brothers of Achaea and I should not be following under your leadership. I will now make my return to Phoebus. Yes, leave if you must. I will never beg of you to stay. My crew will stay loyal to me. Your anger is of no use to us, and I will take Briseis as well. You must stop this fighting at once. I've been sent by Hera, who has seen this quarrel. She demands peace. Agamemnon, you are not fit to be a leader. Putting your own needs before your people, it's a shame for you. Stop this incessant fighting. The Greeks are doomed if you continue. Back in my day, soldiers were brothers at arm, people who supported one another. Achilles, you must relax. Agamemnon, you must cool your fury as well. Okay. Men, go get Briseis. <sighs> Curse Achilles. I will make him pay for his behavior towards his commander. I'll take what matters to him most by taking Briseis. I'll send my men to take her and bring her here. If he does not surrender, I'll go myself. With an army on my back, it'll be the worst for him. But sir, he's a mighty warrior. He can be killed on the spot. I have a plan if all goes wrong. On behalf of King Agamemnon, we request the return of Briseis. Welcome, couriers. Please don't be shy. I know you are not Agamemnon, and you are not to blame. I believe he has sent you here for Briseis. Patroclus, bring out the girl. Go and take her back, but if in the future, the ruthless king gets himself in trouble and needs me to save them, consider themselves defeated. Agisaeus has been taken away from me. Help me. What trouble do you, Achilles? Briseis is no longer mine. This is the doing of the Achaean leader, the insufferable Agamemnon. Help me, please. Get the king of Olympus to strike down the Achaeans. Crush them against the ships so even Agamemnon will regret the day. We brought disgrace upon Ach Achilles, greatest of all Greeks. He, after all, owes his life to you. Oh, my son, my sweet sorrow, why did I ever bear you? All that war was doomed. But yes, I shall console with Zeus. I will make a journey after 12 days. I he is feasting with the Ethiopians right now. Captain Odysseus? Set sail away from the wretched Achilles. I can't bear to stand near him right now. The cargo full of grown bulls and goats now need to be taken to Apollo as a sacrifice. You men need to wash and purify from Apollo's filthy plague.
great Apollo, god of music and poetry. Take this adult cattle and goats as my apology, and as I ask for a cure to this plague. Great, great priest Chryses, Agamemnon has sent me here to bring your lovely daughter as well as a sacrifice for Apollo, god of the sun, so that the pain of the Argives can come to an end. I will now prepare a prayer to the Sun Lord. Hear me, Phoebus Apollo. All mistakes have been forgiven. My precious crisis is in my arms. Please grant me my wish as you did the first. May the unsightly plague of the Achaeans be lifted. May they have the strength and courage once again. We shall now prepare the sacrifices and cook our feast all in the name of the Son of Olympus, Apollo. Oh, this is a joyous day. Praise Apollo for our merriment in dark and troubling times. The mortals fill my heart with joy, and my priest is content. Thetis travels to Mount Olympus to see Zeus. <sighs> Lord of gods, Zeus, restore my honor to my son Achilles, for he has been disgraced by the Lord of men, Agamemnon, who tore away his beautiful prize at his own selfishness and keeps her for himself. Father, smite the Greeks and bring the Trojans victory upon victory until the honor of my beloved son has been restored. Lord of gods, Zeus, either deny my prayer now or bow your head. I fear, I fear no response. By the woman, you would drive me to battle with wretched Hera. Even now she provokes for always fighting for the Trojans. At this moment, we run the risk of her catching us. You must go. Look here, I will see to this matter, for I am in your debt. So why, almighty Zeus, did I see quick for the Thetis here at Olympus, rushing down to the old man of the sea's depths? Perhaps you are hatching plans with the shrew and to turn battle in favor of the wicked Trojans. Why is it to your delight that you always conspiracing behind my back, undermining me at any turn? Shut up! Why are always so noisy? Yes, you are my wife. But why are you always so desperate to know first? My business is my business, and that is what I, the mightiest of all gods and mortals, decree. Has the trickster Thetis won your mightiness over with her tales of woe? You ballad her your head, didn't you, to butcher the Achaeans? Enough! One more word on the matter, and I shall bring my wrath upon you. Please, you two, don't fight on such a glorious feasting day. Let us all rejoice. Let us not tempt the thunder god's wrath. Remember the last time I was thrown off Olympus. Go back to him and act kindly. <laughs>